Full name, Adeline Virginia Stephen. Born January 25th, 1882, in London, England. Died March 28th, 1941, in Lewis, England. Virginia Woolf, a pivotal figure in 20th century literature, is known for her contributions to modernist fiction, stream of consciousness narrative techniques, and explorations of gender, identity, and the inner workings of the human mind. Her literary works have deeply influenced the trajectory of English literature, particularly through her innovative narrative style and her reflections on societal constraints and personal freedom. Virginia Woolf was born into a highly intellectual and literary family with her father, Sir Leslie Stephen, being a prominent literary critic and scholar. Her early exposure to literature and her engagement with intellectual society through the Bloomsbury Group shaped her philosophical and artistic approach to writing. Wolfe's mental health struggles, today understood as bipolar disorder, were a recurring challenge throughout her life and influenced the introspective and often melancholic themes of her work. Mrs. Dalloway, 1925. Themes, time, mental illness, and social constraints. Style, stream of consciousness, nonlinear narrative. Mrs. Dalloway is set over the course of a single day in post-World War I London, following Clarissa Dalloway as she prepares for an evening party. Through Wolfe's innovative use of stream of consciousness, Readers gain insight into Clarissa's complex thoughts, memories, and emotional nuances. The narrative also interweaves the experiences of other characters, such as Septimus Warren Smith, a war veteran suffering from PTSD. The novel explores themes of isolation, mental health, and societal roles, particularly regarding the limitations placed on women. Wolf examines the notion of time, contrasting personal memories with the ticking of the clock and the ever-present Big Ben symbolizing the passage of time and the fleeting nature of existence. To the Lighthouse 1927 Themes, Family Dynamics, The Passage of Time and Art and Perception Style, Stream of Consciousness, Symbolic Imagery to the Lighthouse is often seen as Wolfe's most accomplished novel. The narrative follows the Ramsay family during two separate visits to their summer home, with the titular Lighthouse representing an unfulfilled quest, personal goals, and the passage of time. Wolfe's use of shifting perspectives allows readers to experience each character's internal world, including their shifting desires, insecurities, and relationships with others. In this novel, Wolfe also examines the role of women and the tension between domestic responsibilities and personal creativity, particularly through the character of Lily Briscoe, a painter struggling to find her voice in a male-dominated world. The novel's non-linear structure and its exploration of existential themes underscore Wolfe's modernist approach to narrative and character exploration. Orlando a biography, Vintioit. Themes, gender identity, fluidity and historical perspective. Style, fantasy and satire. Orlando is a unique genre-blending work that follows the life of an aristocratic young man named Orlando who lives for centuries and mysteriously changes gender midway through the novel. Wolfe presents an exploration of gender fluidity personal identity, and the constraints of social roles through this fantastical narrative. Written as a playful biography with satirical undertones, the novel reflects Wolfe's friendship with and admiration for writer Vita Sackville-West, to whom the novel is dedicated. Wolfe uses Orlando's shifting identity to critique the rigid gender norms of her time, exploring how societal expectations shape individual lives. This novel continues to resonate with readers and scholars for its progressive views on gender and sexuality. A Room of One's Own, 1929 
themes, feminism, women and fiction, and financial independence. Style, essay, and fictional narrative. A Room of One's Own is one of Wolfe's most influential works and a cornerstone of feminist literature. In this extended essay, Wolfe examines the historical and social reasons behind the lack of female authors in the literary canon. She argues that women must have a room of one's own and $500 a year to write fiction, underscoring the importance of financial and personal independence for creative freedom. By imagining fictional female writers and exploring the difficulties faced by real historical women, Wolf highlights the systemic obstacles that prevented women from achieving literary success. Her blend of personal insight, historical analysis, and fictional elements makes this work both accessible and deeply impactful, inspiring generations of readers and writers to advocate for gender equality in creative fields. The Waves 1931 Themes, individuality, identity, and the collective experience. Style, poetic prose, and soliloquy. The Waves is one of Wolfe's most experimental novels, consisting of interwoven soliloquies from six characters whose lives are explored from childhood to old age. Each character represents different facets of the human experience, and their monologues create a tapestry of thoughts and reflections that capture life's continuity and transformation. The novel examines themes of individuality versus collective identity and the fleeting nature of life. Wolfe's use of poetic prose, rhythmic language and nature imagery makes the waves feel almost like a piece of music, immersing readers in a unique emotional and psychological experience. The novel's structure and style reinforce Wolfe's modernist focus on inner consciousness and the complexity of human relationships. Stream of Consciousness Wolfe was a master of the stream of consciousness technique, which allowed her to depict the flow of characters' thoughts and emotions in a way that felt authentic and intimate. By bypassing linear, plot-driven narratives, Wolf immersed readers in the subjective experiences of her characters, capturing their inner worlds and complex feelings. Symbolism Wolf's use of symbolism adds layers of meaning to her works. For example, the lighthouse in To the Lighthouse serves as both a literal destination and a symbol of personal aspirations and the elusiveness of fulfillment. In the waves, the recurring imagery of the sea and waves symbolizes life's rhythmic patterns and the inevitability of change. Exploration of gender and social roles. Wolf's works are deeply concerned with the limitations imposed on individuals by society, especially on women. Her novels often explore the inner conflict experienced by women torn between societal expectations and personal desires. In A Room of One's Own, she discusses these themes overtly, arguing for women's financial and personal independence as essential for creative freedom. Experimental Structure Wolfe's novels often reject conventional narrative structures, favoring fragmented, non-linear forms that allow her to delve into her character's thoughts and memories. This approach is particularly evident in The Waves, where the narrative unfolds through a series of soliloquies, capturing the ebb and flow of individual lives. Virginia Woolf's contributions to literature extend beyond her novels and essays. As a prominent member of the Bloomsbury Group, she influenced other artists and intellectuals of her time, including E. M. Forster, John Maynard Keynes, and Lytton Strachey. Her works have inspired generations of writers, particularly female authors who saw in Woolf a trailblazer who confronted societal norms and advocated for women's intellectual and creative rights. Wolfe's exploration of gender, identity and mental health paved the way for discussions on these subjects in literature.
Her frank discussions of her own struggles with mental illness have also provided insight into the complexities of the human mind, inspiring a greater understanding of mental health in creative communities. Virginia Woolf's feminist perspectives, especially in works like A Room of One's Own, continue to resonate in feminist discourse today. Her belief that women needed financial and intellectual independence to fully participate in creative life laid the groundwork for later feminist movements. Woolf is celebrated for articulating the struggles of women writers and for her vision of a world where women's voices are valued equally. Modernist Literature Alongside James Joyce, Marcel Proust and T.S. Eliot, Woolf helped define modernist literature, shifting the focus from external events to internal consciousness. Her techniques have influenced countless writers and her works remain essential reading for anyone interested in the evolution of narrative form, gender roles and the psychology of identity. A conclusion. Virginia Woolf's novels, essays and short stories have left an indelible mark on literature, encouraging readers and writers alike to consider the intricacies of human consciousness, the constraints of social norms and the resilience of the individual spirit. Through her groundbreaking narratives, Woolf captures the beauty, complexity and fragility of life challenging readers to reflect on their own perceptions and the power of creative freedom.